Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. Vlogmas day three, everybody. I have started off the morning with coffee because I am exhausted. <laughs> Comic Con yesterday, oh my god. It was so much fun and I'm so glad that I decided to go spontaneously. It was just really awesome and I'm just very just like, ugh, I'm just exhausted. <laughs> Anyway, this morning I have coffee in my Grinch mug and I'm just going to be chilling out this morning Kind of scrolling through my phone as I do every morning and then I'm going to upload the vlog And then I'm just going to be kind of chilling out the rest of the day It is going to be a chill at home day because I don't really want to go anywhere I might go somewhere. I don't even know. I really want to decorate my wall and put up my gorgeous art pieces that I bought yesterday. But um, I don't know if I really wanna leave the house. I think I'm just gonna stay home. I don't even know. I think I might just stay home and chill. <laughs> Although I do need to send out my Christmas cards and a couple of Christmas presents. So I don't know. But right now, I just want to sit on my couch and relax. So that is what I'm doing right now. And then I'm. Who knows where the day will take me, but um, hopefully I'll be doing something. <sighs> oh, tired. Even though I went to bed at like 10 because I was so tired from yesterday. Oh my gosh, I was so tired from yesterday. I walked around, I got there at like 11 and I walked around until like 5. That is a lot. I was walking around for so long and I'm so glad that I decided to wear my Ugg boots because I was going to wear my ankle booties that have like a little bit of a heel and I was like, no, my feet would have died. So I'm super glad. But anyway, I'm going to relax, drink coffee, look at my phone and then who knows what's going to be happening for the rest of the day. It's been uh, like an hour later, but the vlog is finally exported and now it's uploading onto the YouTubes. I'm so happy. Um, there was a glitch again in the video. It was exporting and then it decided to go all cray cray on me. And so I had to re-edit the vlog and it wouldn't be vlogmas if something didn't go wrong, you know? Um, but everything is fine and now it's uploading and I'm so happy about it. I finished my coffee, very sad. And now I'm gonna make some more coffee and also make my breakfast because it's almost 10 o'clock and I haven't eaten yet. And so I'm going to be making my usual avocado on a bagel with tomato. So that is what I'm doing. But I wanted to get the vlog edited and uploaded before that. So finally it's uploading and everything is going smoothly. <laughs> and then I'm going to have a call with my mom. We didn't really get to talk yesterday because I was busy getting ready for Comic Con yesterday. I was busy like painting my nails and like taking a shower and everything. And so, yeah, I'm going to have a conversation with my mother, and then I don't know what I'm going to do next. I think I'm deciding to decorate my con wall. Uh, I want to go get some frames for my gorgeous prints and then hang them up because they're just sitting there, and I want them on my wall. I think that's what I'm going to do today, and I'm excited to get my con wall, like, all set up. I'm so excited, and I'm definitely going to be showing you guys what the process is gonna be like because I'm like I'm just not sure what else to do with the wall like I know I want that supernatural print and that Alice print and then I have a bunch of other pictures from 2019 comic-con that I want to put up and hopefully these art prints will like break everything up so that is my hope and my plan so yeah so I'm gonna have my breakfast and then um I'm gonna just be chatting with my mom and chilling out and celebrate and putting up my con wall. I'm so excited. Wow, it has been a hot minute since I have updated you guys. Oh my gosh, I was so swamped. 
I thought I was gonna be doing so many more things, but apparently I'm not. <laughs> um, I was just in the middle of applying for some new jobs. Hopefully I'll get them, because I'm currently just babysitting right now and I kind of need some more hours, but um, now that I'm done with that, I felt very productive. I am thinking about going out to Target and buying um, a picture frame for my gorgeous supernatural art piece because it's staring at me and I need it to be framed. So I'm gonna get my clothes on and head down to Target, which is not too far from me, and then get a picture frame for my gorgeous picture. And then I'm gonna wait on the Alice in Wonderland frame um, because I would like to custom order that, but I'll do that later. But I can still go up my wall. I think I'll just like tape it up there. I don't know. I might put it in my room for now and um, tape it there. But for now, I'm gonna go get a frame and then hopefully figure out what I wanna do with my other con photos and see if that uh, configuration works. So we shall see. And if not, I might just leave it by itself. And then um, my friend is painting me a picture of baby and I made her a sweatshirt so we did like commission and um yeah and so I think after that painting is done I might focus my comic-con pictures around that and then just leave my gorgeous supernatural print like as the focus point but I don't know I'm gonna have to set it up all on the floor but right now I'm gonna get ready to just head down to Target and pick up that frame and then I'm gonna be home. And then when I get home, I will show you what the picture looks like in its frame all hung up and then see what if I wanna add those other pictures. All set to go to Target, but I wanted to show you guys my outfit of the day. So, my sweatshirt I made myself and this is the Radio Company Volume 2 logo that I put on with my Cricut, which with, with heat transfer vinyl. So this is what it looks like and I am so in love with it. And then it also says Radio Company on the back. I don't know if you can see. But yeah, that is my sweatshirt. I got this idea one day because I ordered the Radio Company t-shirt. And I was like, I want to make a sweatshirt because they didn't have sweatshirts on their website for sale. And I was like, why don't I just make it? So I made it. And hopefully one day when I meet Jensen Ackles, I'm going to give him one of these sweatshirts because I'm like, you know, he's going to be jelly. So anyway, <laughs> this is my sweatshirt that I made myself and I absolutely love it. And then my uh, leggings from the thrift store and then my Ugg boots from the thrift store. And then I just have regular hoops from Claire's and I threw up my hair because I was like, I don't give a crap. So that is my outfit and now I'm gonna go off to Target. My tree is all lit, it's so pretty. Anyway, I am back from Target and it was successful. I got a frame, but the only thing is is that there's two white lines and it was a little bit too big. So I'm thinking of getting a black mat later so that it covers up that edge. But other than that, I love it and it looks so good and I wanna show you what it looks like and I think it's just like a big focal point so I think I might just leave it like that. I tried to put some of my Comic-Con pictures from 2019 next to it and it just like, I just didn't like it. My friend is painting me the Impala so I'm really excited about that. And that's gonna go where my holiday wall or my holiday banner is right now that you saw in Vlogmas Day 1. And I think I'm gonna try to um, focus my Comic-Con pictures around there because I really do want to hang them up. It's just, it's so many faces that I'm just like, ah! So anyway, but I want to show you what the picture looks like and it's so cute. So here we go. This is what it looks like. It's so pretty. I'm sorry for the glare, but this is what it looks like. And as you can see, there's two like white lines next to it, but that's okay. Cause later I'm gonna get a black mat probably to go on the inside to cover up those white uh, spaces. But right now it looks so pretty and I'm so glad it is up my wall and I'm so glad that I got a big one. It just looks really pretty, so yay! Now I am going to relax for a minute or two and then I wanna make some dinner because I'm hungry. And tonight, you guys, 
We are having something very special. We are having Winchester surprise. It's from my Supernatural cookbook and it's so delicious. I haven't made it in a really long time. So we are going to make it and I'm going to show you guys every single step on how to make Winchester surprise. I hope you guys are ready for this. It's so fun to make and it's delicious at the end. So stay tuned for that. But right now I'm just gonna chill Look at my phone for a minute, maybe watch like a YouTube video or two, and then we're gonna cook some Winchester surprise, and I'm so excited! So it's been about half an hour later, and I'm going to make one of my favorite comfort food dinners, and that is Winchester surprise for my supernatural cookbook. I'm so excited to teach you guys how to make this yummy, delicious meal. If you are feeling like you need some comfort food, then this is for you. So, this is the cookbook that that I got the recipe from and I actually got it as a housewarming gift from one of my friends and I'm like really excited about it. When I first got it, I made Winchester surprise and this is what it looks like. And this is the back, look at my cute boys. Anyway, but there's some really good recipes in here. I've tried a lot in here. I've tried the um, veggie tofu burger, which is really good. And then I've tried the kale pita wrap. I've had this several times as well. And then I've had the Winchester Surprise. And then for my birthday this year, I was going very Dean Winchester themed. And um, I made the... Um, I made pig in a poke. And it, this is delicious. I love picking a poke. And then I also one time made the breakfast burger. And this was so good. And I took a picture of it and I was like, nailed it. So yeah, I'm going to teach you guys how to make Winchester surprise. And I'm so excited because like I said, this is my favorite comfort food meal. So the things that you'll need are some buttermilk biscuits. I just got mine from Trader Joe's. You're going to need some American cheese or Harvard cheese that works just as well. You're going to need some ground beef. It also calls for ground pork, but I didn't want ground pork, so I just do ground beef and it's just as delicious. You're going to need an onion. You can do either half an onion and a whole or a whole onion. I'm going to do the whole onion because I don't want the rest of it to go bad. And then I have you have some pickles and then you're going to need some Worcestershire sauce. Oops, some Worcestershire sauce. Um, some ketchup and mustard. And I'm going to show you guys step by step on how to do it. So first of all, you're going to preheat your oven to 375. Oh. While well, that's heating up, I'm going to take my um, biscuits here and I'm going to cut them up into little pieces. So these are what my biscuits look like as you saw in that cute little time lapse. Um, they are just cut up into little pieces and then I put them all over the bottom of my baking dish. And now I'm going to take my onion and cut it up into little chunks. So what you do is you cut down the side, but not all the way. Just kind of make a little insertion like this. All the way down. And I don't have the sharpest knife. Hopefully I'll be getting some for Christmas this year because I didn't realize that I needed knives, but I do, but that's okay. I still managed to get it all the way. And then you're gonna cut it inwards like this, but not all the way. So just to the very end, and you can do that a couple times. And then, you're just gonna chop it like normal. And make sure you don't chop your fingers. <laughs> I did that once while making soup, and I almost cut like my entire nail off. And then you'll drop some, and that's fine too. <laughs> I'm just gonna put that in my compost. So yeah, you're just gonna chop these up 
into little pieces and you should have a fully chopped onion. So I'm finished cutting up my onion. I decided to only do half because it was just too much. And so I did half my onion and then I put my pan onto medium heat and I put some oil in it. I use coconut oil for cooking. And then I put the onion and the meat in. And then once the meat is done browning, I will show you what to uh, do next. And I'm using my um, Misha Collins spoon from William Sonoma and it supports No Kid Hungry and it just says pie hole in it. I have no idea what that means but I love it and of course since I'm cooking supernatural themed food I might as well just use this spoon. But yeah, so after the meat is done and browning then I will show you what ingredients to add next. Okay, so now that my meat is all browned and my onions are pretty much all cooked. I'm going to add three more ingredients. So first I'm going to take my ketchup and we're going to add a half a cup of ketchup. So you're going to add it, oops, you're going to add it in there and then after you're done adding your ketchup you're going to add the same amount of mustard. So a half a cup of mustard and then once you're done adding your mustard and your ketchup I will show you the last two ingredients. Then uh, the next two ingredients are you going to be doing two tablespoons of the Worcestershire sauce. So I'm using just my cute little Supernatural <laughs> measuring spoons that I got in the Culture Fly, I think it was the Culture Fly spring box. So I'm going to pour two tablespoons of the Worcestershire sauce into my meat and my onions along with my ketchup and my mustard. And then the last ingredient you're going to add is your three quarter cups of dill pickles chopped. And I'm just doing one third of a cup because I don't even know if I have three quarters of a cup. Anyway, so I'm just going to dump this cup of pickles into the pan as well along with the ketchup, mustard, and Worcestershire sauce. So this is what you're cooking should look like kind of all brown and it looks kind of gross but you know what it's actually really good it reminds me of a hamburger casserole so once your pickles your ketchup and your mustard and your Worcestershire sauce are all in the pan you just let it cook for another minute or so and then we're going to take all of this and we're going to pour it on top of that and I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. Now that all of those ingredients that you just cooked um, are on top of your biscuits, you're going to put this into the oven. So I'm going to slide this into my oven, which is set at 375. I'm just gonna put it in here. There it goes. And then I'm gonna set a timer. And I'm gonna set it for 25 minutes. So I set it for 25 minutes. And the recipe book says to cook it for 35 to 40 minutes, but I cook it for about 25 minutes because the biscuits cook really fast and my oven is super hot. So it just depends on your oven. I recommend to cook it at 25 minutes and then check on it. And then after 25 minutes, I will show you guys the next step. I just took my Winchester Surprise out of the oven and this is what it's supposed to look like. It looks so delicious. So now we are going to add the Harvardi cheese or if you have white American cheese you can add that too but the Harvardi is just as good. I was looking up a substitute for American cheese and that was one of the substitutes to use Harvardi cheese. So now I'm going to take this cheese and I'm going to lay it on top of the meat deliciousness that we just made. So now that our delicious casserole dish is covered in Harvardi cheese, we're going to put it back into the oven for another five minutes until it's all deliciously melted. And then I will show you the last ingredient that we're gonna put on top. 
Oh my gosh, look how good that looks. Oh, but we have one more ingredient and that is chips, corn chips. The recipe calls for Fritos, but these are technically like Fritos. They're just the Trader Joe's dupe for Fritos. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of these Fritos and we're gonna put it on top of here until the whole top is covered. You're gonna take your Fritos and I kind of like to crush them a little just in my hand and just kind of put them over the top. I like to also have the big chunks too, but not too big. So just keep taking handfuls and like kind of crushing them a little bit. And then just put them all over the top until the whole thing is covered. So after it's all topped with corn chips, you're gonna put it back into the oven and I'm going to set the timer for another five minutes so that it's nice and crunchy. And then I'll show you what it looks like when it's all finished. Ta-da! It's finished and it looks glorious. So this is what your casserole should look like and it's just magical and I love it. And I'm so over excited to eat it. <laughs> so I'm going to serve this up now and show you guys what it looks like on my plate. I'm going to serve it up right now. I'm going to take my spatula and I'm going to cut a piece. And also if you don't put enough corn chips on it, like feel free to like put more. Because sometimes I do that too, like the next day. So Can we just, oh, can we just take a look at that for a minute? So good. Oh. Yum. I'm so excited. And the nice part is, is that I can let it cool for a bit and I can put some tin foil over your baking dish and I can just pop it in the fridge. And then, for, and then whenever I want some, I can just cut a slice off, stick it in my toaster oven and heat it up. So I have my dinner and it looks like this and I'm so stoked to eat it. I hope you guys all enjoyed that little tutorial of how to make a Winchester surprise. I will link the Supernatural cookbook in the description below. And I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm just gonna be eating my delicious dinner, watching some Supernatural of course, and then just going to bed so i hope you guys all enjoyed this chill day of me just kind of doing some random stuff and teaching you guys how to make winchester surprise um i'm so happy that i was able to share it with you guys so i hope you guys all enjoyed day three of vlogmas and if you did you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you guys all tomorrow for vlogmas day four good night guys